Arizona football, listen, I'm going to I'm going to put this uh, out there. Arizona fans always say pay them whatever they want, pay them whatever they want, um back up the Brinks truck, all of that stuff. Well, you know what? Arizona has now a pool of $4.8 million for its assistant coaching staff for this coming year, which will be bumped to 5.2. I feel very comfortable in reporting that. Um, rates are going to go up. Tickets are going to go up. But sure, that's the price of success. Yeah, I mean, it, it, the money doesn't come out of thin air. Like, you right. got to be able to and, – and look, a, a big portion of it is coming from elsewhere. It's not like they're going to try to hike tickets to ridiculous levels. But you got to do what you got to do. And, right. you know, there's there's certain ways to raise money. And um, Arizona is giving Jed Fish all he needs to be successful. And like I always say, like you just said, there's a price to success. Yeah, that's what it is. And this is a coaching staff, too. That Let's be honest here. This is a dynamic coaching staff across the board. This is a coaching staff that, listen, Johnny Nansen has obviously shown that he knows what he's doing when it comes to coaching football. Um, you bring in Richardson, obviously, was a very good hire there. Um, everybody, there is no dead weight on this staff. Obviously, Brennan Carroll, uh, Kafusi, um, everybody, Kevin Cummings is a stud. There are... Again, this is a staff. This is a dynamic staff that we're unused to seeing here at the University of Arizona. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just a, a really well put together coaching staff. Like, there's guys where look, they may not be the best recruiters. There's a couple, but they're very good on the field coaches, and right. each guy pulls their way in, in in some way. And we look at past coaching staffs, and this is the most complete that Arizona's had in, in quite some time. And you know, if, if Jed Fish wants to keep the whole coaching staff, then you got to give him the money able to to keep the whole coaching staff. And I think, again, this is where I think it's also important. Again, I'm going to keep putting this out there to U of A fans. You have got to get out there. You got to get your season tickets. Again, these rates are going to go up. There's no doubt about it. But again, you want a good football product. This is, uh, you know, you're not going to be able to get four dollar or five dollar tickets last second to get into Arizona football. Again, I hate to uh, keep putting that out there, but. It's just kind of the way it is. And again, with this coaching staff, with this uh, uh, Kilroy makes a very, very good point right here, as he always does. Um, he says, you know, uh, the talent evaluators for sure deserve a raise. The talent evaluation on this staff is next level. It, it really is. I don't I'm at the point sheer with this talent, with this staff where I don't even really care what a kid is rated. If they like him and they think that there's potential, I'm totally cool with bringing him in. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the evaluation is crazy. And, and that's where you get into like, the raises too. like Arizona has the biggest recruiting department I've ever seen here right. by far. It's, it's one of the bigger in the pack 12, I think. And, and so like, you know, guys like Matt Doherty, like Josh Amura, like all those guys, like they deserve raises too, because right. they help the evaluation process and all that. And it'll be interesting to kind of see how that money is divvied up. But um, like you mentioned, like we talked about evals, it goes far beyond like the guys that we see on staff, uh, on the field, like there's, it's a very large department and, and Jed's trying to spread the love. And Jed Fish's vision too. And, uh, uh, talking with Dave about this a while back, <laughs> talking with Dave, um, he, uh, he said the thing that really kind of blows you away about fish is just how intimately involved he is on every single detail. He said a lot of times when you get coaches, um, you get coaches, after a while, they get successful or whatever, and they start divvying stuff up. He said Jed is – he lets his coaches do his job, their job, but Jed is intimately involved in every single aspect from the receiver unit to what the uh, um, to what the life is of players on campus to making sure that uh, everything is going right as far as uh, uh, projected recruits, uh, time – his attention to detail is something that I think is really kind of sets him apart here. 